Hello, I'm Ryan. And I'm Sam. And we're doing a review of Ty West's The Sacrament. Um, this is a horror film. We're gonna, there's gonna be spoilers. Just a little background on Ty West. He's kind of a very exciting voice in horror right now. He's done, in the past few years, House of the Devil, which was very well received and is possibly the scariest movie I've ever seen, and The Innkeepers, which is a kind of different movie, but he's been playing in this kind of 70s, 80s retro kind of thing. And it's funny to see him jump from that into a full fled like a genre, a subgenre of horror mm -hmm. that feels so contemporary. The found footage genre, yes. obviously, you know, dates from the, you know, 90s. You could even say that this specific kind of movie has its origins with Cannibal Holocaust mm -hmm. back in the 70s and 80s. But it really feels so contemporary yeah. that him making the jump from these sort of 70s genre pictures into something that you know is made right now. Yeah. And in the context of the movie, the narrative trick that allows Suffice. them to do yeah. the found footage uh, device is that these are reporters for Vice magazine. Uh -huh. So it feels very contemporary. Like it does. Like self-consciously right now. It almost feels like he was like, the the found footage thing's been going on for a long time, and I'm going to make the found footage movie to end found fo footage movies. Yeah, Just to give a little background, this movie is about a Vice documentary crew who kind of goes into a religious, cultish um, kind of commune mm -hmm. in the middle of nowhere, kind of. They've kind of built this whole community around, and they're trying to go yeah. because one of their sisters has joined and they wanted to do a documentary. Um, just some of the cast members... Joe Swanberg, who's huge in the Mumblecore movement right now, plays one of the guys. Uh, A.J. Bowen, who's also huge, and he's been in House of the Devil. Mm -hmm. And um, the other two main characters are Amy Simons, who plays the sister, and Gene Jones, who you may remember as the coin flip guy in No Country for Old Men, and he yeah. plays the leader of this cult, and he's amazing. He's definitely the standout. He's one of those guys, the Coen brothers do such a good job casting people who look like they pulled them off of the street. I assumed when I saw No Country that the guy was just sort of... That a, he worked at that gas station. That he worked at that, that <laughs> gas station. Turns out that man is a fantastic actor. And another thing that's interesting is that with these found footage movies, since there's so many, everybody's always looking for a way to like make the found footage element kind of mean more. Or mm -hmm. like have like one very specific gag or like sequence that is different for found footage. And there is a scene in this where they're kind of running through, like, hanging laundry. Mm -hmm. And they discover these people that are trying to get them to help them. But other than that, it kind of just sticks to, you know, there's yeah, no, like, Cloverfield, like, you're in the monster's yeah, one mouth of kind the, of moment. One of the, the really sweet points about this movie for me, one of the, like, novel little special things it did, is nothing special. It's yeah. just direct, and it's exactly what you would think would happen. Uh -huh. It's very well um, made, and it's very intimate. And again, it's so worth ten bucks. Oh my like, goodness! If I you get five love, people together, yeah. like it's it's and Ty West, the restraint and control that he shows as a filmmaker, this yeah. kind of early in his career, is extremely promising. Yeah. Um, so obviously, Sam and I, right? Oh, if you're a fan it. of horror yeah. movies and you could stomach it, this is absolutely yeah. one to see. Um, yeah, definitely. Yeah. And, you know, I might it's go see though. this again in theaters. I'm almost I'd curious. interested in seeing how the experience is different. Yeah, I, I want to see how an audience responds to this. Yeah, if definitely. Hopefully there is indeed an audience there. No. Um, so, if you've seen it, let us know what you think, and let us know what you think of Ty West as the director, because I think he's very exciting. Until next time, I'm Ryan. I'm Sam. Thank you for watching.